So, so far we discussed instabilities in two systems a relay burner and rotating convection okay. and the first system was 2D and second system was 3D. Now, today I am going to uh, work with another system which is like rotating convection, but is magneto convection. So, we will put magnetic field and temperature. So, the idea is So, we have this fluid contained between two plates like this and I apply a mean magnetic field B naught is along z direction. Okay. So, I will assume along z direction this is along z direction and of course, gravity is downward like this and there is a fluid in between. Now, of course, there will be magnetic fluctuations. Uh, so, we will do that bit later in MHD. So, uh, fluid can generate magnetic field, local magnetic field, like earth's magnetic field is generated by fluid motion. Okay. So, uh, there is a small b which is fluctuation, but I normalized with b naught. So, b naught is a magnitude of the mean magnetic field. Okay. So, small b is normalized fluctuation. Okay. So, this is what is the notation used in literature. So, I just followed the literature. So, the equation now very similar to uh, what we had before. So, let us put all the all the terms. So, you are familiar with these three right pressure gradient this one also you know and this one also you know. So, what is new this equation this term and this term I will not derive it now, but we will do it bit later when we do MSD it comes from force j cross v. Okay, so, if there is current and there is a magnetic field, though there is a j cross v force. Okay. Now, j is like curl of magnetic field under certain approximation. Okay, so, this is called MHD approximation. A small b is the fluctuation in magnetic field. So, this is a fluctuation and this is a, well strictly speaking b naught times vector b is a fluctuation and this B naught z cap is a mean magnetic field. So, you apply this strong magnetic field to fluid motion and that fluid motion will generate fluctuations and that is small B naught times small b. Like earth magnetic field is dynamic if you have seen my talk or somewhere uh, the earth magnetic field is changing all over all the time and you will see that magnetic field here also will change in fact, we will see consistent equation. Okay. So, this is um, this term we are not I am not deriving it right now, but you just treat that is a given to you. So, we need of course, uh, how many independent fields we got? We have got velocity field, we got magnetic field and we got temperature. So, temperature equation will be same as okay, so temperature equation I have not written here is same as before. Okay, so, it does not get uh, affected by magnetic field, but we need to write down equation for the magnetic field as well. Okay. So, this small fluctuation B naught does not change with time, B naught is constant magnetic field in space and time, we will assume that it does not change with space and time constant. So, this small b is a fluctuation which is evolving by this equation, again it comes from Maxwell's equation, but we will not derive it right now. Okay. So, it has u dot grad b is like advection of the magnetic field and this term is b, b dot grad u okay. and this magnetic frontal number p m which I have it here let us put all of them magnetic frontal number is nu by eta, eta is a magnetic diffusivity okay. so, it is like there is a temperature diffusion similarly magnetic field will diffuse because of conductive uh, conductivity of the material electrical conductivity will make it diffuse. No? So, that diff eta eta is magnetic diffusion. So, and this q is the parameter here is for Chandrasekhar's number it is a strength of the j cross v force you can think of that j cross v force this j cross v force no full the ampere's force. So, 
So, current current carrying conductors in a magnetic field experiences a force. So, instead of current carrying conductor, we have current current carrying fluid, which is like a wire in some sense, and that is experiencing a force. So, the strength of this term, this non dimensional number q, which is Chern Schecker's number, and is given by this okay, B naught square in CGS units d squared by 4 pi rho nu eta. Rho is a density of the fluid, eta is kinematic viscosity, eta is a magnetic diffusion. Okay. Now, we will treat that as a number, it is a non dimensional number. The derivation is simpler for me, okay, I like CGS, uh, uh, MKS can also be done. In fact, more all the engineering books have or dynamo community also uses MKS, SI, but uh, okay, CGS is chosen by some plasma phases and it is a choice, no, no problem. Uh, if you look at the book, I do also give the formula uh, in uh, of SI as well, but right now we just treat as a uh, parameter. Okay. So, this equations are non dimensionalized right now, it is non dimensionalized equation. Okay. So, u and b are all, uh, so you see this is non dimensional. So, u is normalized by kappa by d b is normalized by b naught you know and b naught in turn has basically gone in here. So, b naught does not appear in this equation you see. Uh, okay. uh, well, this equation b is also normalized with velocity field. Okay. Uh, so, presently just treat them as equations because this will require some more discussion if I get into that aspect. Okay, so, we want to see whether this is system is unstable or not. So, in fact, earth magnetic field is generated by magneto convection and rotation. So, so you, you know how the earth uh, magnetic field is generated. So, let us make a, some schematic diagram here. So, there are four layers, innermost layer is solid, it is called inner core and this is called outer core O C outer core and this part is liquid metal molten iron, chromium and so on. So, this is basically uh, this liquid metal L m liquid metal is around 5000 degrees centigrade uh, temperature uh, variable, but uh, is of that order thousands of degrees. So, inner part is hot, uh, there is a radiation where there is a heating at the bottom uh, inside and this part is colder. So, there is a convection in this zone, this zone is convection. But this liquid metal, so it can support current. Unlike water, it can support current. Uh, this liquid metal, and that current generates magnetic field. So Earth's magnetic field is generated here. Okay, and the equations are what I've written here actually. This is so if you include some rotation in this, and make it a bit more complicated, then you have the equation for magnetic field, uh, magnetic generation in in the Earth. Now presently, we want to see whether the system will have non zero u or not. So, instability means we want to see convective motion. So, magnetic field can suppress uh, convection. Well, I mean, uh, this I am giving a statement, but uh, this magnetic field can affect convection very strongly. Okay. But we just want to study as a mathematics problem and see whether this will generate convection or not. So, instability analysis this is an exercise on instability analysis. And, uh, so, in Fourier space, so I drop the nonlinear term, linear stability, and work in Fourier space. In fact, we will work with Kray herring. So, first I write down the velocity field in Fourier space. So, this is Chandrasekhar number, uh, this is that PR square PM magnetic field, and this is convection term, and we have one diffusion term, viscous term. Okay. So, this term, this term is basically new term j cross v term okay. coming from magnetic field and this fluctuation b has come, the nonlinear term u dot grad u has been dropped and b dot grad v, there was a term b dot grad v that too has been dropped. Now, we need equation for magnetic field. So, if you drop the nonlinear term, we get these three terms, this is and this one. This is a diffusion term for the magnetic field. So, 
So, these are all positive definite in terms of energy. If I dot this with u dot uh, u star k dot, then this is negative always negative definite quantity. Because if I dot this with u u u star, what will I get? E, e of k and e of k is always positive. U dot u dot u star is always positive, right? That is mod square. So, these are all dissipative terms that dissipates energy, but these terms can increase velocity field, right? This is temperature is increasing. This can also do something, okay. This can also increase, decrease. Okay, now we need equation for the temperature. Okay, which is same as before. So now we do create hearing. So how many components will have? Will we have? So u will have two components, u and u two, and b also will have. B is a vector. So b also will have two components, b one and b two. Okay. So there is a k vector. So there is a I will use z hat, z hat as n hat and this will be uh, e 2 and e 1 is here. Okay. So, you can have both e, uh, e 1 uh, u 1 u 2 for velocity field and v 1 v 2 for the magnetic field. So, we can derive it, yes. So, uh, we can have also component around e k No, so del dot b is 0. So, B is also divergence free. So, this is a very interesting that uh, U and B both satisfy divergence free condition. Okay. So, now I the derivation can be done, but I will not show you here. I will just state the equations. So, this for B 1 and this for B 2. Okay. Now, it turns out. So, these equations, so the, let us look at the eigenvalues of these. So, the trace is negative, it is of course, uh, at least one of them is negative, right. Now, what about the determinant? So, this minus, but minus minus is positive. So, determinant is positive. So, what does it mean about the eigenvalues? Both must be negative. So, determinant is product of lambda 1, lambda 2. So, uh, I know at least one of them is negative. So, that one must also be negative. Okay. Uh, so, well, one idea could be these are complex numbers, but uh, uh, so you, you can work it out. Okay. So, this these are I can tell you right now that these are negative and they will decay. Negative eigenvalues means will decay. Now, one interesting point you see, I I am not deriving from the first principles. Okay, so this I did it while I was writing this chapter of the book. So we you can do it yourself, but maybe no need to spend some time on it. Save your energy for more more difficult tasks. So u one b one and u two b two theta are decoupled. So it turns out because of this structure of the equations, it decouples. So, it is in fact not 5 by 5, there is a 2 by 2 block and 3 by 3 block. So, in some sense, well, if you like the B, B1 and e, U1 component, these components along E1 direction, they are waves, they are not affected by temperature. Okay. Now, these are you can understand them if you look at the equation more carefully. There is alpha in wave, it's something called alpha in wave for this MSB. And u1 and b1 are support. These are alpha in waves. Huh? U1 and b1 dissipative alpha in waves. So this i sitting here, that means they are basically uh, oscillations. But they dissipate because of this term. That's because the temperature gradient is in That's right. So u2 is affected and b2 is affected by temperature gradient, but not u1 and b1. And this comes nicely from this gray herring, that is the nice thing about it. If you work with Cartesian, it is clumsy, which I have done it, not this problem, but I have done with Cartesian, it is just, uh, it is not very uh, transparent. Okay. Now, so we do not need to worry about u 1 v 1, they will dissipate. In a dissipated system, if Pranel number was 0, and uh, then it, this will not dissipate, they support waves. 
for right now because of this dissipation already present in the system they will just go to 0. So, u 2 b 2 theta this equation may generate instability now that does look complicated now in fact if you see this part is very similar to this part right. In fact these are called alpha n waves this i i will support alpha n waves ok and if you look at u 2 and theta so if I drop this q term uh, and b 2 term then we recover the convection equation. So, you can see that they are all consistent uh, but just in the structure. But since u 2 b 2 are coupled by this alpha n coupling uh, they is a 3 by 3 matrix not 2 by 2 matrix ok and that will complicate things a bit. So, is that fine I mean this is derived from the linear equation. Now, this equation has 3 Eigen values and 3 Eigen vectors. Now, this can computer can tell us what is the Eigen values and Eigen vectors, but to see the instability or to, to look for neutral stability I just set the determinant to 0 simplest thing to do because that is where the Eigen value will cross the 0 line ok from negative to it becomes positive one Eigen value, but there, there is no proof huh? I mean this is what is by uh, when I do do it I get the same thing what Chandrasekhar gets ok. So, I am going by faith I am not really proving it that all the Eigen values are negative before at least the real part then one of them crosses over it becomes positive is that uh, clear to everyone. So, stable means all the real part so there could be complex. So, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 and this has real part real plus i imaginary. So, real part must be negative for stability. So, real part of all these three must be negative if it is stable, but as soon as it, it crosses 0. So, I say the lambda 2 may be uh, lambda 3 becomes 0 at some point and that is what I am curious to see I have not done it myself curious to see the Eigen values. So, this what I want you to this is another uh, project that compute the Eigen values and see when what are the Eigen values what is the nature of the Eigen values. So, I am going to set right now determine to 0 and the condition we get is this. Now, so we will fix parameters and my variable will be only Rayleigh number. So, I fix Rayleigh uh, parental number p m uh, k is sin zeta is k per by k right I mean that is why. So, uh, q is also fixed magnetic field external magnetic field I, I fixed and my q is fixed. So, I will look for given this parameter what is Rayleigh critical and from here. So, this is of course, uh, I can compute Rayleigh critical now from here right away. Now, we can do some more. Uh, so, this, this is what it is Rayleigh critical. Now, we can also compute the Eigen, Eigen vector, and the Eigen vector will tell us the structure of the flow. It is a 3D flow, no? Well, it usually is a 2D flow. So, u2, u1 is 0. So, in fact, it is simpler than uh, a rotating convection and u 2 and b 2 are related from the Eigen value you can Eigen vector we can come you can get the relation. So, I will get Eigen vector here. So, this is for u 2 b 2 and theta. So, theta we can choose it to be 1 these are wave modes huh? and please remember it is sin theta will be sin n pi z and exponential i k x x is that in fact it is uh, it is not a 3 D system it is a 2 D system so, u 2 u 2 b 2 theta. So, you can take the uh, x z. So, this is u 2 is like that. So, I can choose x z plane. So, we can draw this plane uh, uh, and draw the structure ok. So, I have not done that work, but uh, we can do it. 
So, problem would be to find the eigen values beyond Rayleigh. So, just go from Rayleigh critical slightly above, see whether they are complex or real or how do you choose. So, this is what I want you to do an unstable mode sketch how does u and v look like. Now, here I applied the magnetic field perpendicular to the well in the direction of gravity, but you can also apply magnetic field horizontal magnetic field along x, x axis x or y are equivalent no problem. So, you can choose along x axis and you can do the analysis. So, presently uh, so, role structure is important to see. And so, if I do like this, it is easy to see the convection will set the roles like that, and magnetic field does not want to, uh, it will affect the flow, but it is somewhat happy to let it go like that. You put the magnetic field, magnetic field wants probably flow to go like this, and convection wants to go the flow to like that. So, one has to see, I mean, this is a complex structure, uh, one needs to understand. Okay. So, this is what I want uh, uh, better understood. So, I just sketched it, but you can see that uh, we need uh, some more work and more one more complex thing could be magnetic field is along some arbitrary direction, then this will affect and this will affect and uh, the structure will be more complicated. And this liquid metal flows are used by engineers heavily in industry. So, one example which is given is uh, in fact uh, many metals you know so titanium, tungsten or even car sheets. So, you want smooth sheets. So, apply strong magnetic field that will smoothen the fluctuations or uh, kill the fluctuations. So, and then they want to apply magnetic field and control the convection and things like that. Okay. So, uh, let me summarize what we learned from instability. So, we studied the, studied the linearized system. So, these are all part of linear stability analysis. Uh, but I did tell you that there are systems that are non-linearly stable. So, normally unstable. So, linear system is always stable. Here we found the linear system is stable for some parameters and becomes unstable for some other parameters and there is a there is a transition and that is called neutral stability. Okay. Uh, pipe flow is one example uh, channel flow which is stable if you do linear analysis. In fact, dynamo is stable if you do linear analysis is always remains stable. So, you need non-linear term to make it unstable. So, we will do dynamo, okay. so, dynamo is uh, simpler to analyze. Channel flow is one difficulty with channel flow is that I cannot use, well we can use free slip, and, but normally the engineering uh, prob problems we use no slip boundary condition and then Fourier analysis does not work. So, convection for free slip Fourier analysis is very good. Uh, so, channel flow is what I would like to in fact study this with the free slip boundary condition and see whether we can set it up and what happens. Okay. Uh, uh, employ cray herring, it simplifies your calculation, but cray herring is not working, does not work for all the time, right. I mean, with, if you apply no slip, cray herring would not work, and that is why channel flow it does not work. But even for those flows, I would like to see what happens with the creating. So, it does not hurt, no, I mean you just try some new stuff. Uh, look for condition for neutral stability. So, so we applied the creating, then linear basically we get linear ordinary differential equation for the Fourier modes. So, the well channel flow, what is the structure? It is it is like that, right? Now, so this one I would like to put a sine wave. I will treat this as a sign. It is a it is a some kind of modeling. So, I will I want that kind of model that velocity field. So, instead of really looking for exact profile, but just model with uh, this and the higher modes will be that. So, just analyze that. So, it I do not know if somebody has done it or not, but it is a good thing to try. 
So, study the Eigen values and Eigen vectors once we get neutral stability and uh, that will be the structure at the onset and near the onset not necessarily at the onset, but near the onset structure does not change dramatically if I change the Rayleigh number slightly. Okay, so, it is it's a good, uh, good starting point for studying also the uh, later part of Rayleigh. Now, few things which were asked in during the uh, class. So, which modes get excited first? So, the many many Fourier modes. So, our analysis tells you that among many modes, one of them is most unstable. So, one with the lowest instability threshold, right. So, how did I get that? So, my parameter was k per and I varied k per and saw that Rayleigh critical was lowest for some particular k per and for our problem it was pi by root 2 that k c. Okay. So, we, we can see among Fourier modes which become unstable, but if I increase my temperature or Rayleigh number then other modes also get excited. So, other modes also get excited later, but so you can say well increased temperature some more modes are getting excited. So, we will get mixture of modes but non unity also is not going to sit there. So, one example which I would like to say that if instability means this person has suddenly become rich getting more and more money, but so other people cannot simply stop watching that person they say well I also want my money. So, non unity will transfer money from one mode to other mode and that is what non unity does. So, this growth also saturates. So, this, so uh, is not that people just wait for their turn to come there is also exchange and that exchange is by nonlinear coupling which I will do it after this uh, presentation. So, it kicks in. So, uh, in fact, first we have primary modes and after that you we start putting in nonlinearity it starts growing and non So, first make the primary mode primary mode the first mode. So, this this one word which you use quite often is called primary mode. So, primary mode wave number what is the primary mode wave number for relevant at? So, k x is pi by root 2 you just give me the wave number then I know exactly all of it all these properties and k y is or k z is a 1 k z is pi pi sorry k z is pi my box size is 1. So, this is my wave number s 2 d the k y is 0 and this is a primary mode. Now, when primary mode starts to grow, so we will generate more modes this is called secondary modes. A secondary modes typically well secondary modes can come by instability is I said here when I increase the rally more modes can come because other modes also get a chance, but before other modes come remember rally critical for n equal to 2 was n, n 4 n equal to 2 takes period of time if I increase my k well. So, to get a higher harmonics by instability may be taking longer uh, higher temperature difference. But if I increase temperature a bit, nonlinearity will kick in and it will generate higher modes, which I am going to show you after this. Okay. So, nonlinearity kicks in and it just makes the flow uh, uh, patterns come, then chaos comes. And uh, this method will not work for no slip uh, because no slip requires uh, Fourier is not good enough for uh, no slip. Okay, so, we will stop here. Thank you.